Okay, was this treasure map? Are you another side quest? Is your husband around? Oh. I have something for him. Oh. Sorry, he's out shopping for weapons right now. Oh, all right. Well, can you give him this book? <sighs> Fine. If I may, madam, what is it about our transaction that has you so dissatisfied? This is another map, isn't it? Well, as soon as he sees it, he's going to run off on some fool treasure hunt again. One of these days, he's going to get himself killed. Hmm. I understand. I know what it's like to worry about someone. I don't suppose... Look, is there any way you can find this treasure? If you can track it down and bring it to my husband, that would be enough to satisfy his curiosity. Would it or is the, the hunt what he likes? I think we can do that. But first, we gotta figure out where this map leads. That seems like Popola's area of expertise. Perhaps she has some advice for us. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's go talk to her. Surely you are aware that meddling Down the rabbit hole again. <laughs> a married couple will accomplish nothing. Look, I took on a job and I'm gonna see it through. Your sense of duty is positively breathtaking. Hey, I know what it feels like to worry about family. If we can keep others out of danger by handling stuff like this, I'm all for it. It is a tremendous burden. And yet, I cannot say I dislike that way of thinking. <laughs> okay. Wonder if they're going to give you the option to keep the treasure? I wonder if we'll even go for the treasure in the first place. I also wonder, because right now we have a main story and a side story involving Popola, so I don't know how this is going to work. Don't bother going into the Grand Line. I'll go get the OP for you. Right? Like, it's the chase for the adventure. That's what he likes. I'm sure if I just came back with the treasure, he's gonna be like... Man... She don't understand. Ay ay ay. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see what happens here. You're really gonna do it? Oh, Devil is here too! Oh wait! Oh, she's the one talking to me. The whole village is buzzing, you know. They say you're gonna go rescue Yona. I guess it's really happening, huh? I'll bring her back. I promise. Um, about that. Yeah? Hmm? Nothing. Never mind. See? Here we are! Here we are. She has information. She has the power of information. Oh, she did the thing. Popola just loves to worry. I, I already know how it feels. <laughs> anyway, you be careful. Yes, do be careful. But will that information make our lives better? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, now talk to me about the treasure map, please. Hey, got a minute? I have a map I need your help with. Sure. What kind of map? Here, let me show you. Hmm. This looks like a map of the Lost Shrine. Apparently this leads to some unidentified object of great importance. It also talks about a hidden room in the Lost Shrine where sunlight doesn't reach. I'd bet that's where your secret treasure is hiding. A hey. hidden room in the Lost Shrine, huh? Thanks for the help. I always get really lost in the Lost Shrine. Who would have thought? Oh, not at all. Glad to be of service. All right, well, we have to do this one too, right? Maybe she would just tell you, don't bring Yona here. She was just an annoying little brat. Oh my god. Not our precious little Yona. Okay. Map is important quest. Okay. On our way. Maybe that's why they call it that. She didn't check the other room. Uh, I checked it earlier in the stream. I saw the little girl in there. But I don't... I mean... I guess we could check to see if something new happened. We did fight the wolf. So... We could check. See if something's new. <laughs> if she does, that Popola will get in these hands. Seriously. <laughs> Maybe the wolf is there? Oh, it is! We have everything! Oh, wow. A wolf figurine? 
A very fine construction, I would add. Who is doing all of this? Who is putting this here? Because that wasn't explained in Automata, was it? What the hell? It's the massive shade we saw in the area. I don't even want to know. How do they know? It's you? Why would Popola be collecting figurines of the shades we defeated? Oh! So Popola is... What the fuck does it mean? Yeah, true, the music change. I wonder what it means. Maybe because of our journey to go save Yona. Oh there. Uh, okay. Lost Shrine. Last side quest for a bit. Can you believe it? Me neither. Because I don't even know if it will be. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Are we ready? Let's all make it back alive, okay? Uh oh. It's a plan. Wait. Chat, I have to go here for main story too? Am I going to be able to do this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was just a little worried. Good night, Mugen. I am having difficulty believing it as well. Okay, because, you know, it would suck if the main story progressed and I had this important side quest that just so happened to be in the same area. Okay. So I guess we're main storying while side questing. Wild. Crazy time to be alive. Oh, what the heck? Interesting. Well, now you're equipped with knowledge on what to do in your own personal opinion. <laughs> After having an hour-long discussion about it. <laughs> I like that the game is dropping the health salve stuffs for me now, because those are like the better heals. Look how that worked out! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. Oh. It's flying. God, this weapon is so sick. Ah! Um... It's not taking any damage. Ah. Oh. And it's gone. Oh, what the frick? Why you wait? Okay, I'm, I'm climbing up this ladder. Good luck, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> not them fighting, and I'm just ignoring everything. Okay. Oh, hello. You think so, Emil? Okay. I guess we'll, we'll officially find out. Dude, uh... Oh my god, the thing is still flying around. What do I do with these things? Okay, well now... Okay, I'm over it. I'm over it! I'm leaving! Oh, what?! Do you mind? Can I climb up this ladder, please? <gasps> Oh my god! What the hell? Dude! They won't even let me! Hey! Guys, I can't even get up here! Please? Thank you? What the heck? That was so weird! Okay. You know what I haven't seen very often is like the whole circle thing. 
to like execute or whatever it's called. I like never see that. Very good name I have. Very true. Very true. I got trolled so hard. Wait, I'm dying. Okay. Alright. It doesn't show up. Wait, what happened? Okay, so a room, a secret room? Man, I suck at navigating this place in the first place. I'm not gonna know where to go. If I- I have no idea. Also, someone asked earlier if I'm gonna- Oh, I think it was Yandu who asked. Back? The room behind me? Are you serious? No way. No way. Pile of junk! Is this the treasure? Not but a pile of junk. It seems this treasure map was a ruse. I know what timing. <laughs> now what? His wife isn't gonna like this at all. Well, no one's gonna like this. Wait, okay, now I have a question. Do I go hand this in or do I press forward? Do I continue? Go back? Okay. Stop fighting me, Sunny. Go back. Okay. Where's your husband, ma'am? How'd it go? We followed the map, but all we found was a pile of junk. I see. In that case, can I ask you to sell my jade hair ornament and purchase something shiny with the proceeds? Then we can give it to him and pretend that you found it. She going through an awful lot of trouble. You sure? This looks pretty valuable. Oh, this feels like a bad idea. That's because it is. But if it keeps that idiot husband of mine home safe, then it's worth it. Rude. Idiot husband? You know what I don't like? I don't like how that's just like a thing, you know? Like, oh, the old ball and chain, my stupid ass husband, my dumb ass stupid ass... <laughs> I don't even know what else ass husband. It's like, damn. God. Y'all love each other or what? <laughs> well, should we obey the wife's request and sell I mean, a jade hair ornament? You're just an ass of a husband. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I would say keep it. Because what if he got it for her? From one of his actual treasure things. I said the exact statement word for word to my friend the other day. I know, right? But my wife does have a stupid husband. <laughs> keep is faster? I feel like my choice would be to keep. But she's not gonna be happy about it. I'm gonna say keep. And then you guys can tell me what happens if I say sell, later. That ornament's important to you, isn't it? Let me talk to your husband about giving up on all this treasure business. You do that? All right, thank you. Hmm. I know, right, Jay Chosen? Honestly. <laughs> exactly. Did you find it? Was there gold or silver or jewel encrusted scepters with magnificent diamonds on every. It was rubbish. A large, worthless pile of trash. Some hot garbage. <laughs> trash, huh? Damn. Still, I'm not gonna give up. I'll find another map, and I'll... He's looking for the one piece. I understand. Perhaps you should stop being such a self-absorbed jackass, and instead spare a single thought for the woman you married. <laughs> That woman cares very much for your safety, and each time you trudge forth with dreams of avarice spinning round your insignificant mind, a small piece of her dies. Oh my god! 
Okay, Vice just popped off. I would be so okay if Vice popped off on me if I needed a reality check. Like, if I wanted anybody to snap at me, it would be him. Just go. Tell me how it is. Would you truly put her through such agony? Would you allow your greatest love to suffer so you can scratch at the earth for treasure like some headless barnyard hen? Damn, dude. I think that's enough, Vice. <laughs> Look, your wife just wants you to be safe. Hell, she was willing to sell her hair ornaments so you'd think I found something. That's how much she worries about you. I... I didn't know. I honestly didn't know. Oh, honey. I've been such a fool. It's all right, dear. I'm just glad you understand. I've turned over a new leaf, friend. From now on, my life is devoted to my wife's happiness. <laughs> Aww. Truly? Oh, but wait. There's one more thing. Here. This is the first map I ever found. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Hmm. This map's even more cryptic than the last one. Yet I feel confident the rubbish it will lead us to is the same. Now come, we've little time to waste with such trifles. Probably, but treasure hunting is all about believing in what's possible, Vice. Such things are beyond even my comprehension. Think of it as a game, if that helps. Now let's go talk to Popola and see if she can help with the map. Okay. The side questing isn't over. Who would have thunk? Wait, why? Why? <clears throat> Excuse me, madam. Why do you have a side quest? Oh, which job should I give you first? Someone in the Forest of Myth wanted your assistance. I wrote down... Oh, which job should I give you first? Come back when... <sighs> These side quests aren't, like, 100% necessary, right? Or, like, super duper important? This one could also be considered important. Oh. The magical stone? No? Hmm. Guess too good like that, that quest. The magical stone. Hmm. Yeah, the forest, my favorite place. Yeah, our, our poor sister just, you know... Neat addition, but not necessary. Okay. Hey. All right, let me take a look. Here. Hmm. Well, the code on this is pretty tricky. Northern but Plains. I think it's a map of the Northern Plains. It mentions something about the place where the Iron Bridge starts. But that's all I can make out. Sorry I can't be more help. No, this is great, Popola. Thanks. So chat, what happens if I sold the, the hair thing? What happened? Important for your personal growth. Okay. Well, if there if it's anything like automata, I could save some side quests for the next. I just wanna I just really want to make progress on the ending, at least. Alright, chat, I'm open to elf on where this is located. Just to speed things up a little bit. Not for advice, making him realize he was hurting his wife. Okay. Might be under the bridge. Okay. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. My bad. I was so close. Oh, a spear labyrinth shout. Wait, that... Wow. Okay. Dude, of course, the one treasure map. It would appear this latest treasure map was the real thing. Yeah, I'd say this is an ample reward. Mm-hmm. It's complete. Okay. Let's check it out. So I'm over here thinking, my thought process right now is things came in like threes. Like the beast stuff, the labyrinth stuff. But what about the phoenix? I got a spear, but I didn't get a two-handed sword. Hmm. 
Officially done all important side quests. The game is your oyster. Perfect. Whoa, forged from metal and liquefied beast. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's read the story then. She was a hopeless slow woman, impossibly clumsy. It would take her three times longer than anyone else to accomplish a task. She walked slowly, talked slowly. She even blinked slowly. So slow was the woman that she could not even draw water to anyone's satisfaction. The children began calling her the cow and laughing when she passed by, but she would only chuckle in response. Dang, guys, we did all the side quests that we needed to. Okay, we're gonna skip fighting all of these. I'm gonna try to speed run past these guys. Let me in! Get out of my way! Okay, all right. Would you rather farm the junk heap or read Forest of Myths stories? <sighs> that is actually a very difficult question. Like, genuinely difficult question. Because Forest of Myth, I didn't mind reading, but the way it made my brain hurt having to think so hard... I, I edited that uh, episode last... That was the last thing I edited. I had to cut it into two episodes because I was like, I can't. <laughs> I can't keep going. I can't make this. I can't edit this much. So the next episode is going to be our uh, Lighthouse Lady talk. Like, it's just going to be an episode of Lighthouse Lady. <laughs> uh, a worthy episode. Okay, where am I going now? Over here? Okay. That one episode is just a visual novel. Pretty much. Pretty much. I just had to like, cut out me trying to understand <laughs> the logic puzzle. And I just skipped to like the part where chat, like the parts where chat was just explaining it to me. Cause I was like, I don't need to have me sitting here being confused for 45 minutes. Yeah, true, not even visual, it was just a novel. Just an audiobook. Loony audiobook. <laughs> Oops. Okay. All right, guys, we're here. I'm pretty sure this is where we needed to go, right? The riddles were tough. Some of them I got, but some I was just like, I don't even, like the secret seesaw one. Yeah, with music. Shortcut? Is it a shortcut? Okay. I never knew you could get to the door by going this way. Wait, really guys? I did this last time too. <laughs> really? I went the, <laughs> oh no. I didn't even see the other way. This is the only way I know. I always went to the left. No way, guys. I went to the left the first time. And then ever since the collapse, I've always went this way. Everyone always went to the left. Interesting. Well, you're welcome. Okay. I also only went to the left. I never knew that too? What the heck? Wow. That is so funny. Okay, save, did I not? Okay, I'm gonna save again. It, I don't even remember if I did or not, but you know, we're gonna do it anyways. Okay. Big moment. Finding the speedrun strats, that's right. Oh, you always went to the right, okay. I never knew that for different reasons. <laughs> Secrets, here we go. I'm scared. Okay, prepare to potentially feel lunity. I know you cried earlier, and it's possible it could happen Such again. A sight. And yet I find it strangely <sighs> nostalgic. This is where we found yeah. Vice. This is where Vice and I first met and first fought together. Right. Wow, this is where you used to live, Vice? Well, yes, I suppose, in a technical sense. Pretty nice digs for a floating magazine. At least it was free from annoying hussies like yourself. <laughs> I love how he just always calls her hussy. Like, oh my god. I can't. Oh, need a tear refill. 
before I expend it immediately. I know, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, did magazines even exist? But technically, this is in the future. So, like, a f the future are, like, compared to us, right? Like, a th by a thousand years. So, they had to have known. You cannot turn back from this point. It's here. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh boy, okay. We're ready, right? Like, I know I'm pretty sure we're, we're pretty positive, but... Oh man. Ending today! Are you sure you don't want to get 20 logs, 20 iron ore, and 20 clay? <laughs> On second thought, let me go back and do that real quick. <laughs> actually, I want to go upgrade my weapon real quick. Which I actually haven't done. I don't even know. What if I had the op like the stuff to do it? I don't know. And now the path is open. <sighs> yeah, 20 titanium alloy. There's all those fish to catch. Shoot. Gotta get those sharks for the stir fry or whatever it is. Oh my god. It's happening on day 10. Wow. <sighs> Went through all of that pain for hours. Oh my god. Was it worth it, Yuki? This feels familiar like it makes me think of the tower maybe because it's so white everywhere you one-shotted everything damn too strong okay this looks nice looks beautiful It still does feel like the tower for me. It's over here. Can't reach it. Ow, I'm in the water now. My socks are wet, damn it. Nothing like wet socks. Who play in the organ? To whom does the true voice speak? Huh? To whom does the true form show itself? You must answer. It can talk! I ask. Why did humans disappear from the world? Why did they? The hell is this? I believe this is some manner of password. Password? Mm. Yes. The correct answer should grant us access to the castle. <sighs> Riddle. I feel confident I have heard this somewhere before. Ooh! Where'd Emil going? Where are you going? To whom does the true voice speak? To whom does the true form show itself? I ask, why did humans disappear from the world? You must answer. Well, I mean, even if their lives are short, like, I mean, humans just keep reproducing. So I'm, but the black disease feels like too obvious almost. But yeah, inflation actually, inflation is why. I guess I'll say the black disease, but it almost feels like it's wrong. I answer because of a black disease. I ask, how can humans extend their lives? By s acquiring leaves of the sacred tree, by separating body from soul. I mean, I'm not sure what the leaves of the sacred tree does. If the game told me, I'm sorry. 
but the separating body from soul feels like what they did do. So maybe this is like meta gaming because we played Automata or whatever, but maybe. I answer by separating body from soul. I ask, what is the destination of souls? They are placed in their corresponding shells. They are in the promised land, bursting with light. I mean, this is literal, probably. And this is like the ideal concept, I suppose. I don't know. I answer, they are in the promised land, bursting with light. Wrong! Did I get it wrong? I think I got it wrong. Okay, okay, well... It appears we must try again. Fast. I appear to have made an error. I wonder if it's like there was an error out of the whole thing or it was just the last one because it was it was just the last thing that we got wrong, so To whom does the true to whom does the I why did he you must Okay, black I, uh, disease I, uh, Body from Soul I, um, I ask and then, I guess, corresponding shells? Which I... I mean... Shells as in androids? Their souls are placed in androids, I suppose? I answer. They are placed in their corresponding shells. Very well. Damn, I was close! You are acknowledged as master. You may enter. Well hmm. then, it seems the way is open. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! <gasps> There's the sword I was talking about! I was saying earlier. We were using this as in Automata for a bit. Thank God you broke the box. I know, I bet you guys were stressing out over that. <laughs> oh God, okay, let's read this story. This is a story of a time long, long ago. There was once a beautiful bird with resplendent feathers that lived a quite quiet life deep in the forest. I was. <laughs> okay, are there any other weapons going forward? Or, like, we are officially okay. Because it would definitely suck if I missed anything else. Still some weapons going forward. Okay. Oh, 84%. Well, feel free to yell at me if I happen to miss anything. Because it feels like, it seems this is really important. So, feel free to just... Sum. I don't know why. Wonder how gold it is in this game. True. It was pretty gold at moments. Wait a minute. It's the twins from your village. Uh oh. Uh oh. Popla, Devil. Uh oh. What are you doing here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, any chance you'll just go back to the village? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a very dangerous place. Uh. Even if you can find Yona here, you probably can't get her out. How did you get here? Shh. We're asking the questions right now. I'm like actively trying to like piece in like what happened in Automata while like this is happening and I need to focus. <laughs> They're 
right, let's go back to the village. <laughs> uh, what are you two doing here? What are you two doing here? I'm not going to answer that. You can figure it out yourself. <sighs> like, all I can think of is, is this the Devola and Popola duo that messed it all up for every other Devola and Popola, you know? Or was that a different one? But I can't help but feel like it has to be them. But what did they do? We're here to rescue Yona. No dice, huh? Well, I guess we don't have a choice then. So in Automata, they fight to help us get into the tower, but here they're fighting to prevent us from going no, in. No, I suppose not. How sad. But why? We didn't want to fight you. We really, really didn't want to. Devil! What's happening? Sorry, but this fate was predetermined. Still, we spoke to truth. We really wanted to avoid this if possible. We were hoping to put it off for a hundred years or so. Until the next generation came along. What are you talking about? Are they shades? I don't think so. It's a lie! I don't believe it! Huh? Huh? Okay. I want to make sure I didn't miss any dialogue. We never thought you'd grow to be this powerful. This is madness. Why do you block our path? You have no cause to speak so with us, Grimoire Vice. You are a traitor. Sealed verses. Oh! Of course we can. The power came from us in the first place. You were simply loaned a small portion of it. Vice, are you all right? Tevola, Popola, why are you guys doing this? Why are you siding with the shades? Siding with the shades means shi siding with the machines. I'm trying to think of like how, cause like, you know, the humans made Devola and Popola. Hmm. What does it mean, I wonder? damage can you guys take before I miss something? Doesn't seem like there would be anything else at this point. Oh. Okay. Holding, holding. <laughs> Why? The answer to every riddle lies within the heart of the Shadow Lord. The Shadow Lord? So you've been on his side this whole time? You must search for that answer yourself. You've got to face your own truth now. Please, enter the Shadow Lord's castle. Uh... 
Okay. So Popola is Popola are fighting us. Yes, they do seem to be putting us through a great deal of <laughs> You okay, Vice? How odd. For long years, my mind and tongue have been my greatest assets. But now the latter seems to be. Vice? Do not look at me like that. I am Grimoire Vice. I am Perfect Wolf. I wonder if like this is an indicator of like how maybe he became more like the pods or someone or something I mean <laughs> I think I hear a waltz thinking of a lot of things right now Oh yeah, in the library, maybe- so what I was gonna say was I feel like Popola's been like, collecting the stuff, maybe keeping track of what we've been doing. I don't know, man. Hmm. Certainly is a grand affair. What is happening? A bunch of dancing bastards. They're all shades. Uh. I think we're locked in. It's not like I was planning to leave. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late for that. Okay. And part of me is like, are the shades the androids? Kind of, I don't know why that would be the case, but... What if the shades are the androids? What if the shades... are what... to be and like, every the resistance camp are made out of, and A2? That'd be interesting. That'd be very interesting. Oh, sorry. I, I was not thinking. I'm not thinking about anything other than my theories. Part of me is like, you know... Devil and Popola work for the humans. Like, they were created by humans. Maybe sh the Shadow Lord is like, Project Gestalt, whatever, would make sense. Cause that's what the name of the game was called before. Gestalt or whatever, something to do with that. I don't know. But if, I don't know if that makes sense for like the wolf. Huh? Guard resistance 30? Dang! The wolf feels more like the machine. It reminds me of the... It reminds me of the, the side quest in Automata with the moose. The beast. So, I, I feel like the shades make more sense for them to be the machines instead of the androids, but what do I know? I'm just talking out my ass right now. Nice. 
Get over here. How am I gonna kill these things if not? Oh. Damn it! They won't stop coming. I'll open the next door. Cover me. Oh, how I do love a good time. I'm really worried about Vice. If something happens to him, I feel like. Protect the hussy, yes? I'm not. I'm, I'm, I don't know, dude. I'm not prepared for that because. No. There's no way. Hurry! It's not open yet? Do I look like a goddamn locksmith to you? <laughs> Maybe. No, you idiots. What are you doing? Lock doesn't want to open? Fine. I'll just break it down. Stop, you impatient fool. <laughs> Get a girl. Goddamn no good bullshit bastard. Open the fuck up already. <laughs> Got it. Kind of. Look <laughs> Got out. it. Huh? Machine faces, I swear, dude. Hmm. These things are freaking me out. Is it kind of just on the ground, dude? It's just on the floor, laying. Kaine, what's wrong? We need to help Kaine. We need to help Kaine. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm helping. You okay? Yeah. Well, we got problems. What did you say? Who are you and what did you just say? They just transformed into a pig? What does that even mean? We don't need forgiveness, asshole. Kaine? Oh, so she can understand them? <gasps> Dude, I didn't even think about this, but what if I could play as Kaine? Kind of like 9S and like A2 and stuff? Oh my god. And then we'll be able to know what they're saying in another place. Oh crap! I forgot about. I was thinking too much. I don't know if I missed dialogue. Shit. Oh dear. It has armor now! Dude! A dirge for the hero? What's that? Goose within two minutes? Oh! Goose. Such distractions. Come on, we have to keep going. Let's go. Okay. Whoa! This way. Move. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Oh, hold. Weapon. Ah ha ha! Dragoon Lance! Okay, I'm gonna break every box I come across. Up here! Got it! Oh. Nice! <laughs> the stress relief!
I have to check every box! Please, hurry! I'm trying! I have to check the boxes for weapons! Oh, God! Please! Don't! Okay, well... I don't know, man. I feel like it'd be dumb as hell if there was a box with weapons here. Where am I gonna have to start over? I swear to God. Okay. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm like, here. I don't want to miss something, but I feel like there's no way, right? Uh, I thought there was a hallway weapon, it was just the wrong one. Okay, so we're okay. We're good. I'm trying, Emil, I promise you. Oh god, I really hope. Full send, okay. Cause I want I just wanna make sure. Oh god, I can't even see. Ah! Oh Okay. Yeah, kick that door. Kick the iron door, kind of. Oh, how did you get in here? Attack incoming! Oh god. Wait, yes, open the door for us. Charge at the door. Ah. Oh, okay. The entrance is locked too. It seems we are in a bit of a predicament. Come here. Strike the beast while it's down. Okay. What is happening? Whoa, wait, what's going on? shooting arrows who could it be think looney think hurry why are they here what Tasa, te do to, chi iru to te. our king no way <laughs> what are you doing here? Saluri to Shita. Kaizam to Kiro, Daro. You are correct. Yeah, Ara to the sunset. Ruari, Ruari to the Toros. Kankashi Chinde. But Ara, Peruato. Don't talk to Kirigo Itari. Afia to such a chisata. ケロアルテリアだせ。ユジ。カフェ石岸。新中カレルタカイザン。テラス。うん。あんだ、改め。ブラルペルアトチ。<笑> 
Knock it off already. Let's go. Kaine. He's fighting for you. And for Fira. Don't let him die for nothing. Okay. I'm like coping so hard that we're gonna see him at the end of this. Please, please, God. <laughs> he said we he said he would. Right, guys? He said. Said. Oh, I don't want him to die. The fucking song. God damn it. There has to be a rule against lying. I know, not the song. Devola, Popola. <sighs> oh, look, you made it. We've been waiting for so long. Why are you doing this? It began 1300 years ago. Okay. With the start of the game, maybe? Humanity, finding itself on the brink of extinction undertook a last-ditch rescue plan called Project Gestalt. Okay. Gestalt? Do you still not remember, Grimoire Vice? Then let's give you a refresher. Oh, this is gonna be juicy. We're gonna get a lot of info here, I bet. Here we go. Oh, we got it. Vice! My... Mine... I... I remember... Devola... Opala... You are not human... In fact... Oh no... <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the truth can be a real bitch. You want to finish that thought for him, sister? All of us, every person standing in this room, are mere shells created by the true humans. What are you saying? You still don't get it? You aren't human. So then humans, I mean, the true humans, are extinct? Hmm. No. They still live on. You know them as shades. What? Mm. I was almost close with the android theory. Okay. Each shade is a twisted remnant of what was once a human being. So the human souls? So, meaning Kaine is half human. 
half android versus being a full android perhaps crazy huh now let's skip the part where you stand there with your mouths agape and just get down to business wait wait sorry but we're gonna be needing that shell of yours the rightful owner has been waiting for a very long time the rightful owner the one at the start of the game okay I remember in Automata, Emil said that he had like multiple versions of him. So maybe the us at the start of the game, it's the same person, like the same soul, but a different shell then. I'm sorry if that was like obvious, but I'm just like thinking out loud, okay. Please don't be angry with us. We are only doing our duty. Our endless existences have a single purpose. To control the lives of others in accordance with the will of the true humans. I know, Automata is metagaming, dude. I know. <sighs> mm-hmm. You have your own motives, your own desires. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. Don't speak such foolishness. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. That's a lot to unpack, hey? Hmm. You and us? We're the same. Tools in the hands of a master. No. I'm nothing like you. Who would be our master, though? Them? Oh, their song. I'm like waiting to see like if there's some more dialogue. I don't want to go too crazy on the damage. No. 
now you want to stop? You think you have the luxury to stop? You cut down my sister like a goddamn animal and now you want to stop? Pobola, wait! It doesn't have to- No one stops! <laughs> it's way too late to stop! No one stops! Damn, she popped <laughs> off. Please, don't do this, Popola! You and Devil were like parents to me! Those two have watched the world wither for time immemorial. Coolness of such a fate is difficult to imagine. I don't want to do this! I don't want to fight her! Stop bitching and start fighting! It's the only way! Bro... Sucks, man. young I I hated my eyes and now that I'm older I hate what my body has become but there's something else there now something like pride you know I mean without all this I couldn't have become your friend goodbye my friends For so long, all I could do was destroy. Do you dare? But now, I have a chance to save some people. No! Now get going, okay? Emil. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna be fine. No, 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 no. Don't. Emil! Emil! Jackass, get back here! Hospital! No, 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 no. Oh, dear. Kaine is so unstable, and Vice can't stop arguing with people. I hope they can hold it together once I'm gone. Well, I guess they'll just have to learn.
Come on, Tiny. It's not fair. Why are you taking it out on us? Let's go. He said it's okay and he started consoling us. I was like, no, don't even. Uh, so sad. Hang on, I have to get tissues. Oh god. My effing life. Oh, Lord. The idea of someone new coming in and seeing a random streamer crying, and then we get shots of Kaine in her Kaine outfit with no context. <laughs> oh boy. Is, the is my makeup intact? <laughs> oh Christ. That was. Awful. I'm sad. Still looks good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was like, I put on a lot of mascara today and I don't feel like it's a non runny kind, so I'm a little screwed. <laughs> but I'm surprised at how well it's holding up. Okay. Ugh, half my life. Ugh. What an episode. Fuck my life. I've seen that part what feels like a hundred times and it's so hard to watch every time. Seriously. Honestly, if anything happened to any of the characters, I feel like I would have- But no, Emil's the worst one. That's the worst one. Take care, oh box. Sorry for popping in at an awkward time. <laughs> oh. I can't. I know, like the fact that I saw him, even even knowing that he's in there, like doesn't doesn't stop it from hurting, you know? Had similar stories in a way, that's why it's hitting so hard. Oh. Emil, best gay skeleton boy. He really was. <laughs> so precious and so innocent. I didn't really expect that to happen though. Running a shop a thousand- eleven thousand years from now, no? I'm pretty sure. It's Pride Month, I know, how dare they? <laughs> how dare they? Oh my god. Oh fuck. He had big plans. Oh god. I'm so sad. I really didn't see this coming, you know? Just kind of... <sighs> Do I have any words to honor Emil? He was perfect. He was perfect 
and he deserves the world. And I swear, if this is like a thing where he's replicated and I'm about to find him at the end of this hallway and he's like, Hey guys, what's wrong? Why do you look so sad? Son of a bitch. Don't even. <laughs> Loves writing lovely characters and eat them. No kidding. He saved you. That was his world. Stop. Not the perfect Emil voice. <laughs> Oh god. Now you know why I hate replicant high Oh why I rate replicant higher than automata. Oh yeah, honestly I I do too. We haven't even finished and I agree. Automata didn't get me to feel like this. Not not even close. Except for Pascal. <laughs> Pascal was my Emil. Oh god, I'm not even ready for whatever is to come. I think you'll love the other endings, Miss Looney. <laughs> oh, that, I, I feel like that could go so many ways. Story and characters clear for me. Oh, 100. Oh yeah, that's right, we did get documents. I was thinking about if we could read those. Oh. The whole time, I was just like, do not ugliest of cry, Looney, because I was fighting for my life to not just absolutely have the ugliest cry of my life. <sighs> it was still pretty ugly. I was like, you know when you like cry so hard and you're like... <laughs> I was like, don't get to that point, just don't. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, 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 reading time. Yeah, the hyperventilating. <laughs> fuck. Oh. Boogers and all. Okay. Dude, the fact that the humans are shades though? I haven't had one of those cries in over like 10 years. Oh man. After the reading, can I get a quick weapon count? Of course. I hope I didn't miss anything. Hi, Fat Damon. Okay. As noted in the previous report, okay, Project Gestalt report 0923. I'm so sweaty. I'm gonna turn on my fan while I read this. I'm so warm. <laughs> Ugh, having emo too many emotions. Okay. As noted in the previous report, implementation of Gestalt mode can prevent the white chlorination syndrome we recently experienced. I don't know what chlorination means. Transfer of bodily information to civilization repressed replicants is proceeding as planned with the genes of the originals safely stored inside. Civilization repressed replicants? Okay. Our role as surveillance androids to prepare for when the incurable bacterial disease eventually dies out is also underway. So far, this is proceeding without issue. Codename Popola. <laughs> Observer 021. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Sorry. Is a disease from the Drakengard game. Oh. Oh, no boilers for Drakengard? Oh, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Honestly, I will probably watch a video that will touch on the Drakengard stuff, because I don't know if I'll be able to play Drakengard, but I am very intrigued. Very, very intrigued. So. <laughs> Anybody loot any good coloring books lately? Okay. Yeah, 7.5 hour Drinking Guard near lore video on stream later. <laughs> oh god. I wish I could play it though, because now I'm like. Fuck, I want to play everything. Okay, so. Surveillance androids, Popola and Devola. 
to prepare for when the incurable bacterial disease eventually dies out is also underway. Meaning dies out, meaning all humans die out with the disease potentially, perhaps, maybe? I don't know if I'm understanding that correctly. Look at that. This document discusses potential strategies for the relapse cases we have observed in recent years. I know they keep tell it, talking about relapses, but I was always like, relapse from what? The term relapse, of course, refers to the catastrophic loss of sentience seen in certain gestalts. So the shades are gestalts? Still holding out for a Drakengard remake, but I don't think it'll ever happen. That'd be so cool. However you want to find out about the lore is fine. Okay. Drakengard, final boss trauma, anyone? <laughs> oh, lord. Okay. Okay. This syndrome has, re has defied even our most pessimistic initial estimates and continues to trend upwards with disturbing speed. With some relapsed gestalts beginning to attack replicants, there is an urgent need to take comprehensive action. So the replicants being like us, presumably. We remain convinced that an unknown technological defect in the gestalt transformation process is responsible for the condition, but so far have been unable to confirm this theory. Oh my god, I feel like I have to read this again because I don't understand. The term relapse, of course, refers to the catastrophic loss of sentience seen in the certain gestalts. Okay. The syndrome has defied even our most pessimistic initial estimates. It continues to trend upward with disturbing speed. So, <clears throat> meaning that obviously the gestalts were like, like the human souls. And then the relapse is that like the souls just like lose themselves, I guess. The shades can be more and want more, but the disease makes them go mad. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is an urgent need to take comprehensive action. We remain convinced that an unknown technological defect. Wait, but the disease. I would have imagined that they made the gestalts to pro to not have like to be basically like a vessel for human souls. But why is there a disease still? Oh. Okay. Research of this condition is now our top priority and looks likely to continue for some time. Is that what they're trying to figure out, maybe? Oh, okay! <laughs> okay. So this is Devola. Okay. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Hold. Okay, hold. <laughs> Project Gestalt Report 10432. Shorthand minutes... Mm of case 23 emergency response conference committee special meeting issue observed upward trend in relapses noted and discussed issue acceleration of restoration schedule approved don't know what restoration schedule means but okay report debate over using codename noir for human restoration schedule Report preparations to launch VICE decoding system for above. Order collection of guidance and release release code for Lunity alongside VICE launch. This is really hard for me to follow, but... <clears throat> so... Human restoration schedule... I don't know if I'm supposed to understand this. But they basically planned for us to meet Vice. Oh, Gestalt? Gestalt. Gestalt. Project Gestalt, okay. Uh, okay. 
Project Gestalt Report 11242, we have determined that the rise of relapses was due to an unexpected spike in the sentience of replicants, as well as a genetic instability within the original Gestalt. It seems the original's effect on bodies that have undergone the Gestalt process was not anticipated in advance. Sorry if I'm reading this super slow, by the way, I have to like, this is how I have to process it <laughs> and understand it. Immediate action must be undertaken to identify the links between this trend and the original Gestalt, along with its sister, the relapsed case known as Yona. Am I the original? The observer contact group is growing uneasy, so finding a solution to the relapse issue should be considered a top priority. See other reports for more details. Instability within- well, genetic instability within the original guest doll. Well, no, because I'm not a guest doll. I'm an android of sorts. Uh, presumably. Seems the original's effect on bodies that have undergone the guest all process was not anticipated in advance. Okay. Gestalt? Gestalt? Gestalt. Okay, I'm assuming some of this is meant to still be a little confusing, which is okay, but I'm trying to understand. Not sure if I'm getting it. Gestalt. Oh, the wedding invitation. Remember when we were happy? Do you guys remember? This is the meal stuff. <sighs> okay. We were happy in this game? Yeah, for like two seconds. When a wedding was happening. I felt great. Not me trying to understand bureaucratic paperwork. Dude, seriously, that's why I have an issue with is just like the, uh, the like, vocabulary used makes it super hard for my brain because I'm like okay so this means <laughs> oh yeah weapon count sorry thank you okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty nine Is that okay? Okay, cool. He had grown old. The king's dauntless gaze had lost its light, and its his stalwart body had grown soft. What's more, every ounce of fear and vanity he had gained with age now gnawed away at his heart. The king was afraid, so he repeatedly ordered the invasion of neighboring countries so as to so as to hold onto the lands he had been sworn to protect. The king was afraid, so he tried to take everything through violence and oppression, for he no longer trusted his own advisors and vassals. Dragoon. Okay, we're continuing. Gotta check. Now is not the time. Damn, so these are all just humans? Were humans? If they're fighting us, then that means that they are no longer sentient, though. Because they were- they relapsed. Oh. Yeah, we're... I guess you could say that they're zombies in a way. Man, I was so close, guys. I was so close with my theory of the androids, but like, not, you know? <laughs> 
I was on a train of thought of some kind. That's pretty crazy though. Androids are far into the future, but it was a good connection. So they are not androids quite yet, I suppose. So many hallways. Allowing me to think and feel the feelings that- Dude, they're smart. Adding these here, making you reflect on how they're- What shades really are, you know? They know what they're doing. Yoko knows what he's doing. He knows. Uh, hang on. Ah, stop. Magic abilities. Give me my whirlwind. I need that right now. Level up. I forgot what that this was even like a video game. You know? With levels and stuff. <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess you could say they're like zombies, eh? We need to go after Yona, Jesus Christ. Well, there she is. Oh, she's older. Obviously, it's been five years, but oh my god. Yona! So he still has to be a little bit human then. But he needs Yona for something for humanity, maybe. This ends here. Strike hard. Hold nothing back. I don't know, I'm confused about the second document that we read. It's okay, I'm sure, like I said, it'll probably get explained, but. How could a mere tool hope to stand against the Shadow Lord? Don't speak in such a manner, fool. I am nothing like you. Oops, oops, oops. What is it? What, what is it? What's wrong? too much damage. Well, it's not going into a cutscene or anything. Don't relax yet. It's not over. Strike it when it has stopped. Okay. Just making sure, you know, can't be too safe. Very helpful history. I know. <laughs> this is really cool though. I can't wait to like I have a feeling we're gonna get the POV from like the Shadow Lord and stuff, you know, like the shade side of things, and I feel like that's gonna be really interesting. Just, an, uh, just a guess, or assumption, or theory, or whatever, you know, but... 
be pretty cool. Yoda. It's been over five years, guys. someone else's body. I don't want it. There's another girl inside this body. I can hear her. She won't stop crying. She says she wants to see her brother. You're just being possessed? This girl loves her brother too, just as much as I do. It's not right, you know? It's not right that she can't see him. I wonder if this is where the inhumane thing came from. It's you, isn't it? She's so pretty. She's a shade. Man. That's actually really, like, huge for the other sister to do that. Like, that's a big deal, I feel. I... I'm really sorry. I just... I don't know what to... I'm so very sorry. I bet that's gonna make me cry in the future. Hurry, the shade that possessed her is gone. Sympathize with you? I swore to protect my sister and my friends. If someone puts them in danger, they must stand aside or be Man. cut down. He probably swore now, the on. same. Let's finish this. He 
probably swore the same. You know? But the fact that What's they up? had to take a vessel is tough. You're freaking me out here, Vice. What's happening with Vice, dude? What's happening? to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Only joking. I hate cookbooks. But let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? Why well, to stop him, of course. Noir? But after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't. Don't leave us. I swore I'd always fight by your side. You are an exceedingly stubborn lad. You know that, yes. I don't want to lose you too! Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where I Stop! <laughs> but I want to lose everybody! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name. Well, forget it. I've grown rather fond of Vice. Vicey. Nice. I knew you'd come around. Don't let it go to your head now. No, I don't want to lose him. He's my comedic relief. Now I'm just depressed forever. What? What? I can't use his power anymore. To defend. I have a reason to oh wait. The, the dialogue, Looney. Don't forget the dialogue. Okay, wait, heal because I'm scared. <sighs> we'll have to know what happened with Vice, too. For a second, what if that's the last human? The last, like, human ever. We just killed him. Siona, all right? No. Oh God, no! Oh please, the girl is fine. Huh? Vice? Vice? Where are you? Are you okay? I am as well as can be, considering I have lost my physical form. He's become God. Become as gods. 
become Asgard's what? Doubtless my voice will be the next to go, so listen closely. Oh, okay. Your sister is safe. Do not mourn her and do not give up hope. Instead, you must call her back to you. How? Use your memories. Recall the times you spent with her. Present her with proof that the two of you live still, and that your lives have meaning. I... I don't know. Typical. But take heart. I know you can do it. Okay. Come on, self. What's my favorite food? Cookies. Oh, what? What's my favorite book? That's my magic storybook. What's my favorite place? Home with you. What's my favorite flower? The lunar tear, of course. Okay, one more question. Who do I love more than anyone? Am I supposed to put my name here? I don't want to have to do that, but I, that feels a little conceited. But I guess I don't know if she ever met Emil. I'll put my name. It feels a little awkward, but I'll. I don't know. Let's see. Is that? I know we're so handsome now, my god. No way. Is this my body? Yes, you are. It's yours and yours alone. You look bigger than before. Like you've grown up. <laughs> yeah. I guess you haven't seen me for a while. Have I been asleep this whole time? Something like that. It's almost like I'm a princess from some fairy tale. Oh, Yona. I'm so happy to have you back. Me too. We did it, guys. <laughs> kind of. Where do you think you're going? You and your sister. You have a good life, okay? Where are you gonna go? Guess I'll... You could stay with us, you know. Thanks, but I'll pass. You know how it is. I got my own shit to take care of. What do you mean? Personal shit, all right? Anyway, take it easy, yeah? Hey, look. It's beautiful. For the longest time, I heard someone telling me how they wanted to see the light. Mm. The and shade. Now they can finally see it. Mm. What cost is true? Do we get a happy ending? I mean, it's a bittersweet ending. That's for sure. Wait a minute. A lunar tear? Is it a lunar tear? <laughs> it looks like it, right? Thank you. I love it. It's so 
sunny today. Yeah, it sure is. Shade brother and sister. <sighs> we did it, guys. We did our first ending in Replicant. <sighs> wow. Twelve more playthroughs to go. Could they have picked a brighter fucking credit scene? Honestly, this is blinding. <laughs> yeah, the song is beautiful. It reminds me of something else. I'm not sure what it is, though. Time for me to rewatch Near Lore videos again. Wow. That was a beautiful experience. Beautiful story. Is there something in my hair? It's so you feel like that shade going into the sunlight. Actually true. I can tell you connected with this one a lot more. Oh, for sure. This one, this game is written in such a way that you just can't not connect with these characters. The characters are so likable and so like the camaraderie and the way that they talk to each other, the banter. All of the things that they go through together and the things that they're fighting for together, it's so beautifully written. And I really love stories that just have you like get this type of connection with the characters. I truly like these are the my favorite type of games. Replicate is definitely a top for me. I don't know if it's like my favorite game of all time, just because like if I were to compare like okay gameplay wise. But it is a top five, I think. And I do prefer this over Automata simply because of the story. Obviously, like Automata, it was more of a polished. And I obviously, like, this game shows its age with, like, you know, just a few things that were more common back in the day. Like the type of side quests and, like, the fetch, you know, the grindiness of it, the back and forth. Which is, I t totally understand, you know? It is a game that has a lot of issues, but overall character story and such- Oh, yeah, fantastic. It's kind of like- And the side quests in this game were very, very well written too. Like, I love when a game has great side quests and that really just add to the experience. I think this is a candidate to consider. Oh, there are so many candidates, Blastoise. You may like this game so much because the characters are so mercilessly accepting to each other. Yeah, and I really love, like... If you pay... watch the credits, you may notice something a little strange down the list. Okay. I hope I didn't miss it already. I think it's already interesting that this is in alphabetical order. Because it's like, everything is like, all over the place, technically, in a way. Because it's like, you go from game designer to... casting to sound mixer. Yeah, I think it's cool though. It's very different. Also interesting that there's like some question marks. Spike Spencer question mark question mark question mark. What does that mean? Music cello, music guitar. Imagine you just play the cello in like one of these songs or like in the music and you just get to be in the credits like this.
Yeah, I would say this game overall... Just really good. Yoko Taro in caps! Creative director. I genuinely loved this game. Zach Aguilar, player first half English. I recognize that name. Cool. Were there a lot of Yukis? Okay. I went to the near concert earlier this year in LA. Bro, I wish I could have gone to that. I really do. Shout out to Yosuke Saito too, producer of Nier and Yoko Taro's partner in crime. Ugh, honestly, shout outs to everybody. The VAs like popped off in this game. They were really good. Thoughts? I really loved this game. Like this game definitely hit a top five for me. Purely off of the story. Well, the, the highlights in this game for me were, um, there was a lot of things. The story, obviously, the characters, like, top for sure. The music, some of the side quests were really great. Really enjoyed how the side quests were written and how it, like, got us to have all these discussions. It, I love how the game is so thought-provoking and, it, like, it makes me think so much just about a, a lot of stuff, a lot of different topics, and it, it's really... Yeah, some, because some of them were super grindy and like, which obviously like, honestly, if I wasn't streaming and I was just, this was like the only game I cared about, I would have done all those side quests. I would have grinded everything. I would have fished everything, regardless of how tedious. I would have gotten every weapon, upgraded every weapon. I, just because I love this game so much, I would have done all those things for sure. Um, obviously it's a little tedious. Which I think we're spoiled by games these days of how, like, you know, we have fast travel, all of that stuff. So I think, which I think obviously is quality of life stuff, but um, I still enjoyed the combat in this game, actually. Um, it wasn't, like, my favorite combat in any game ever made, but I still really enjoyed it. I really would have fished. I really would have. I would have watched a seven-hour near lore video while fishing. 100%. <laughs> Hello, I've really enjoyed your near Automata, near Replicant, and Stellar Blade videos. Oh, welcome on, Zo welcome on in, Zoot. It's so good to have you here. Thank you so much for watching those. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I love that you like it more than Automata just after A because same. There's just so much more. Like, this game is more catered to what I really look for in a game for me personally. It really just hit so much harder for me than Automata did. Automata was great, I really enjoyed it still, but character, like, writing-wise, was so much more up here for me, for sure. I went back to Platinum the Game a few months back, and tedious is defo the word for it, yeah. Did you skip it just because of time? Well, yeah, I don't think it's, you know, yeah. To me, they are very different games. They are, yeah. Automata had the better gameplay, I agree. Um, and I, I would say this had the better story. And we're just on one ending. We've only experienced one ending. So the plan from here on out, if you guys are curious, I do want to experience every single... Well, I don't know if there's side endings to this game, but I do want to experience all the main endings. In my opinion, Automata already answered the question, but after Replicate, it's so clear to me that they wanted to show us the vessels, androids have souls and give the player so much hope after humanity's extinction. Mm. Sounds like that 6.5 hour lore video during some Elden Ring grinding is on the table. <laughs> oh my god. Happy I caught the end of this route for real. So just a question, what do I do now? Do I just select a save file to store your game data? I'm assuming I just click this, right? Just want to make sure that I do everything correctly here. Uh, but yeah, chat, thank you guys for being here. Just open your save next stream, okay. Here it is. Okay. Oh, look, A! Wow. 
Save, finished, and load it for next time. Yeah, I got a nice little A next to it. Cute. Very nice. I say yes here. Yes, exit. Okay. I don't like how they worded that. Call her back? You viewed the first ending, ending A. Yay, we did it! Load your clear data after completing the game to experience Kaine's story! <gasps> I was just saying! Oh, man. Okay. Wow, that is super hype. Oh my god, okay. We're gonna be hyped for the next stream, let's go! Okay, amazing. You can now read a departed mother's diary in your house. In my house. Wardrobe has been added to the options menu. New outfits can be obtained by progressing through a departed mother's diary. Oh, progressing through. Time for reading. Change music has been added to the game settings section. Saving. Okay. Well, something to look forward to for the next episode, I suppose. So, I feel like I've probably ex mentioned all my thoughts already, but I really enjoyed this game. And we will be continuing... I guess Kaine's side of the story on the next episode, which is going to be super cool to see. I'm looking forward to that, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you know when that episode drops, but oh my god, this entire episode, it'll probably be into two parts, I imagine. But we experienced so many emotions today. Oh my gosh, the wedding. Ah, uh, the king! Oh my god, everything. Yeah, most of them sad. We had a moment of happiness for that wedding, like two seconds. And then it all went to shit. <laughs> but wow, what a journey. And I'm, I'm really appreciative of you guys being here and watching this playthrough. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will be continuing and finishing all endings. Um, Elden Ring DLC is going to be coming out in a little bit, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of a half and half. But that won't stop up us from uploading episodes to the channel, so make sure you stay tuned for those. But overall, as I mentioned previously, loved Automata, great game, but Near Replicant Story is just a whole other level for me. Really loved this game, and it's absolutely hit a top five for me. I, I oh my gosh, I can't say it enough. And, I, and that's only one ending that we've experienced. Oh my god. So, yeah. Thank you so very much for watching this playthrough. Be sure to leave this video a like if you haven't already. Don't forget to do that. Feel free to leave a comment on what your first playthrough of Near Replicant was like. If, how it made you feel. Because, yeah. I can't wait to continue on to the next playthrough. So, yeah. Thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you on the continuation on the next episode. <laughs> Bye!